Right, so in this video we're gonna check uh, what kind of a uh, things Libra will have to go through in the upcoming in the upcoming week, uh, July 20th to July 26th, uh, 2020, in terms of love and career. So first thing that we're gonna check out uh, that is going to be uh, the career uh, the career environment in the career stuff. So just let me shuffle the cards and. Uh, pretty much jump into it. So the first card uh, that stands uh, for your career thing is going to be the Eight of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Lovers here, and the last one, uh, that is to be the Seven of uh, the seven of Pentacles. So uh, that, uh, that week particularly, career-wise, it will be all revolving um, around researching and making your recall about the possibilities you can develop moving uh, moving forward into your career development be that uh, as you are looking for a job meaning that this this week is going to be the week where you are scaling the process the pros and cons of one job over another and vice versa, or be that uh, may, uh, if you are into a current job and you are thinking of how to approach a certain situation there, um, the whole environment itself is going to offer you liberals many ways of how you can pretty much cash in onto the situation, right? So while that is rather uplifting, if you will, it is because you're gonna have obviously many way how you can do the things that you wish to do. Also, it's uh, it's not very preferable, and I will tell you why, now we do have the Seven of Pentacles at the end, and that card kind of suggests that while all of the ways are gonna get you to the same place where you wanna be, hopefully, uh, one of uh, some of those ways are going to cost you more than the others, meaning that you get uh, you may have the uh, how can I say the tendency here throughout this week or the, the danger you may be in danger of over investing into your um, into your deeds as a over investing into spending time at work over a certain project you may invest you know uh, into extra hours while you don't have to and so on and so forth now uh, the thing that's um, it's very uplifting as well it is your own personal realization at the very start of the week it is that you cannot get the things literally wrong I mean either uh, either part you choose it will um, ultimately end up in you being in a beneficial position. And that is a, a practically a very, very good reading for you because uh, that week, for what it seems, you are shielded of messing the things around and generally creating a, uh, um, a disadvantageous position uh, for yourself. However, like I said, there is no right or wrong move here or right, there is no right or wrong uh, uh, action. That is also, for some of you, considering making no action whatsoever, also could prove to be as well this, uh, the, uh, the accurate decision making or the right choice for you. So just because you do have the opportunities, that doesn't necessarily mean that those opportunities need to be taken. Because with such an alignment of cards, uh, those um, opportunities for you to manifest yourself, it's going to cost you, okay? It's not like it will. They, they are going to be free of charge in any way. So if you don't have much to, to, to spend from yourself, like, for example, time, it could be money, if, if it is um, regarding to a business investment, uh, then probably it will be best for you if you uh, pretty much pull the plug there. Okay, because that also is going to be beneficial for you, if nothing else than 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 anything, uh, that you are conserving resources for a more important topics to happen. Because the um, the unfoldment that it is going to bestow the that is going to be bestowed upon you, as much as you may want to hear that that will be the game changer, it won't. 
yeah, it, it will bring you some benefits. At the end of the day, it may make your life easier, but it's not going to be the game changer that you may be wanting for. So that week, based on your personal preference in terms of career, you can really you can really slack about it and take it easy. That will be great. You can also be extra, how can I say, initiative. Uh, and if you do have a lot of resources to spend, that also is going to be great, okay? Because as you do spend those resources, like we said, you're gonna have a return here. That is granted to you by having the lovers into the third position of the spread. And one last thing before we wrap this one up for a career, it is that it doesn't look like the true maneuvers are going to aggravate and irritate people around. Pretty much you will be able to, regardless what you do, maintain a good relationship with your uh, supervisor or your boss or with, with your colleagues as well. And in generally with the people that are to assess you, uh, to assess you for a, a new job. However, one last thing to consider, it is how dependent, how dependent you are going to become when you undertake a task and the less dependent you are to be the better how can i say the better um rewards that task is gonna have for you so that was about career now let me shuffle and see what kind of a uh, week is going to be relationship wise for you So uh, first one, that will be the devil, followed by uh, the temperance. Uh, moving next, we do have the five of uh, wands. And the last one, that is going to be the eight of wands. Uh, that's a tough one. It's, it's pretty scattered reading, to, uh, to be honest. Uh, first and foremost... Uh, this well, pretty much this week you gotta stick to your standards. Uh, it's it's the biggest thing that this uh, this reading divulges. Even if that means that your standards are gonna getting in your way of making certain relationship, okay. Uh, that is because if you do back off your standards and your criteria, it does look like that. Um, you know, your uh, ecstasy and as well uh, exuberation of the formed relationship, it will be short-lived. Another thing of what those cards are as well pointing, it is that uh, this week itself, for one or another way, you are to be able to create a, such a circumstances in terms of an ongoing relationship, that is. And also, well, it's a very specific set of rules. That's why the reading is very tough, okay? Uh, it's because you, you need to be in a very specific type of situations so that reading to manifest. So the type of a situation, it is where you are um, not backing off your standards and seeing that those standards isn't working, okay? That what you are trying to, to make, like a relationship or you're trying to sustain relationship or haven't been working for you up until this point and so if that's your case then throughout the week uh, there are to be some circumstances formed that will allow you to keep your standards will allow you to keep your criteria intact and in the same time in the same time being able to alter the outcome of the situation meaning that if your criteria are not allowing you to be with some person because, for example, you know, they can't stand you having your independence and so on and so forth. Uh, now, this week, the circumstances will align in such a way that you can keep your independence and still be with and still being able to make a relationship uh, with that person. So very particular set of rules. If you don't fit with those rules, well, then pretty much the reading points that there will be a dynamic there, you know, shenanigans happening and they are going to be rather trifles. 
uh, and pretty much it will be a reason for you to make a good love of it and, and that's pretty much all that there is to it, okay? But if you are in a stagnated point of finding love or of sustaining your current love and you don't want to make a compromise with, you, with yourself, which you should not, that week there will be a, an unexpected surprises here and there, so a lot of around turns, it is what you are going to be um, a witness at and also being involved in as well. Uh, however, they are not going to manifest on their own accord, guys. I mean, you are going to be witness and involved in those circumstances, those turnarounds, but you got to seize the moment, take the initiative and do something about it and, and, or kind of like some, something of it. And when you do so that, then you are going to be able to tr transfer yourself from the um, losing tip of the scale into the upper hand. And uh, <clears throat> at that point, you you will you can shape your own circumstances within seeking of a relationship or being in a relationship. So, in other words, you are going to have the power to alter your outcome, save your marriage, save your relationship, be with the person you want to be with, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But again, you have to take on the the moment. Or how, how can I say it? You gotta ride the tide. The tide is rising and you have to have the courage and as well the awareness to seize it and ride it. And where that is going to lead you by the end here, we do have the uh, Eight of Wands. So that points to, um, well, you are not out of the woods yet by any means with the Eight of Wands, but it does speak for a certain development there. And uh, should that be about differences? Then the card really points that you will be able to get on the same page for the for the majority of the staffs uh, of the staff. I'm sorry, which you have a disagreement about with your uh, either suitor or person of interest or partner in life as well. So that was your uh, weekly tarot reading, Libra. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. And uh, with that being said, uh, we may see each other around. Until then. Bye.